This is an update in my continuing coverage of KIC 8462852 or Boyajian star for April 11th, 2017. For the extensive backstory on this star, see my other video updates on this channel. One does not often have to do double takes when reading scientific papers. They are what they are, but occasionally they throw you a curveball. Now before I get into the details of this paper, I want to caution that I really don't think this is going to turn out to be anything, but nevertheless add yet another odd chapter to the story of Boyajian Star. In a paper released today by Nathaniel Tellis and Jeffrey Marcy, link in the description below, they detail a search they conducted of 5,600 nearby stars thought to be suitable for alien civilizations to develop. Specifically, they were searching for laser emissions from those stars, whether intentional or accidental, that could only be of artificial origin. Out of those 5,600 stars, they found no convincing detections. While this does not rule out civilizations that could be present at those stars, it does further bolster the idea that the answer to the Fermi Paradox is simply that while the universe may be teeming with simple life, it gets orders of magnitude more difficult for life to evolve to a state of high intelligence, and even if intelligent life does evolve on a planet, the conditions have to be just so for a technological civilization to arise. In their search, the scientists came up with 5,023 potential detections that they considered to be false positives. They divided these into three categories, ones created by defects in the equipment, ones created by cosmic rays or other particles striking the detectors, and lastly, actual detections either coming from the target stars or from some earthly source. However, they found several unusual cases, including a case of unexplained strange laser light coming from an unknown source on Earth, but at the top of the list of interesting candidate detections of potential laser light just happens to be, you guessed it, KIC 8462852. Now I'm not an astronomer and I'm still waiting to see if anyone disputes the explanation given in the paper for it being a false positive. If that happens I will drop everything and make a video, but it seems highly likely that the detection was indeed false and it's merely a coincidence that it happened to come from that star. But with all of the accumulated weirdness surrounding the star, more weirdness entering the mix does raise an eyebrow. It all stems from a saturated pixel. How that pixel became saturated, the researchers note, is inconsistent with monochromatic light. In the paper, they do a comparison between an artificial light source and the detection and rule out light entering the telescope as the culprit. But there's some ambiguity there too. If the saturation was due to a cosmic ray, it's not clear how it did it to produce the effect. So all you can really say is that it was probably a cosmic ray. Still though, the way the KIC 8462852 section in this paper is worded, and given the controversy around the star, we may not have heard the last about this event. We shall see. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, and be sure to check out my Patreon page, link in the description below, and check out my books at your favorite online book retailer, and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.